Now we'll discuss the effect of thermal expansion on pendulum clocks. As you know, in pendulum clocks, time is measured by the time period of seconds pendulum, a pendulum which has a time period of two seconds. In general, we know well that time period is measured for a pendulum clock which is having a pendulum of length L. We know well that the time period of a pendulum can be given by 2 pi root of L by G, where G is the acceleration due to gravity, which is generally taken as 9.81 meter per second square, and L is the length of the pendulum. And based on this time period, only clocks measure time. Now, if pendulum is made up of some metal, which is generally there in pendulum clocks, on increasing temperature, the length of pendulum increases. Say, if temperature increases by delta T, if temperature increases by delta T, we can state the new time period will be 2 pi root of the length will change to L1 plus alpha delta T where uh, this alpha is the coefficient of linear expansion for the material of the pendulum by G. Now, in this situation, this 2 pi root of L by G can be taken as the initial time period. So, this new time period we can write as initial time period multiplied by 1 plus alpha delta T to power half. Now, in this situation, as for metals, alpha is very small, so alpha delta T is also very small. So, as here, alpha delta T will be very, very less than 1. In this situation, we can write this new time period will be T multiplied by 1 plus half alpha delta T. And if we take this 1 on the left hand side, this will be T nu minus T which will be half of alpha t delta t. This is the difference in time period or the increase in time period due to change in temperature. If we find out fractional increase in time per unit time, then we can divide it by t and uh, let's analyze it on next sheet. So, as we have T nu minus T, the difference in time period is equals to half alpha T delta T. We can find out the fractional increase in time. This can be written as T nu minus T by T. This is the increase in time per unit time because in a duration T, this much increase was affected due to rise in temperature. So, this by this is fractional increase in period which is half alpha delta T and this can be written as variation in time of pendulum clock per unit time or this is the time lost or time gained by the clock per unit time depending whether the temperature is increasing or decreasing we can state if temperature is increased the pendulum length will increase and uh, the new period will be more so overall time will increase or you can say the clock will slow down so we can call this as time lost by clock per second. Similarly, if temperature is decreased, this will become time gained by clock per second if it is a decrement in temperature. So, based on this lot, many various examples we are going to see. This you can just keep in mind, delta T by T can be written as half alpha delta T, where delta T is the rise in temperature and there is a time lost or gained by the clock per second.